fuck. England, England, England. Is there even a point of me making this video? No. Nope. Yes. Let's have a vote. Okay then. All in favour say yes. Okay. All against say no. No, 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 no. Okay then. That sounds... Let me just make this clear. This video is all our entertainment purposes. England won't fuck you in the World Cup. I know that, okay? Yo, what's up, guys? My name is Basil T. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are talking England. Cue the racist comments. I'm prepared. And five reasons why England are going to win the World Cup. <laughs> why do you do this to yourself? I don't even know. What the fuck? Before the video starts, I want you to go down there, like the video, subscribe to my channel. Also, thank you very much for 2,000 subscribers. And let's get straight into it. <clears throat> Oh, 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 shout out to you and shout out to And if you would like a shout out in my next video, um, what the fuck do you want now? Where is my shout out? Um, here's your shout out. What the fuck? And why in the comments, comment below, hashtag team 14 if you'd like a shout out. And also, England. Where are we gonna finish? Let's try to be realistic. Says me making a video about England win the World Cup. Life's fucked. <laughs> the third reason is our world class manager, Gareth Southgate. <laughs> Nah, but in all seriousness, <laughs> you're joking, right? Maybe. <clears throat> Southgate has a system, he has a philosophy, shout out to Louis van Gaal. And he's also not scared to drop out big names, and instead chooses to pick shit ones instead. Why the fuck is Jack Wilson on the squad? He also seems to have a plan. Just look at the Nigeria and the Costa Rica game, and he's also very different to this specimen here. Ladies, he's all yours. Just make sure you know he's always awake in the night. <clears throat> Back to Gareth Southgate. As I said, he has a system, his system is very good on the counter attack. He has also picked players that are very adaptable. And overall, is a massive cut for leaving out Jack Wilson. Definitely no agenda here. But overall, if I'm being honest here now, I think Gareth Soft can give England something different. Obviously, having been a player at a tournament, he has the experience of being a player, so that could come to use in the tournament. As long as we make sure we keep him far away from the tournament training, we should be good. <coughs> 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 Second reason is our world class strikers. Danny Welbeck. Can we move on now? Yeah. <clears throat> Aren't you forgetting someone? Oh, and Jamie Vardy. I mean, if you give him a WKD before the game, you know, this guy could be the one. Seriously? Here. Listen, mate, I know we've got Hurricane. I know he's world class. He's probably our best player. He's definitely our best player. And he's probably our only hope. But he's a Tottenham player. And therefore, I can't be seen saying this on camera. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Third reason is the adaptability. Out of all the players we've picked, a lot of them are very adaptable to different formations and different systems. Most can play in different positions and different roles. If you look at Fabian and Dolph, for example, the man can play left back, center midfield, and CDM, and he plays for Man City, which helps massively. This adaptability could come into use in the tournament, especially when it comes to injuries and also the fact that we don't have many after players. That helps as well. It also comes into use when we want to change formation and system in the game. But then again, with all due respect, we're not going to win the World Cup with Fabian and Dolph, are we? Now? Danny Wilbert. Now we're talking. The fourth reason is players from Liverpool. Manchester City and Nando's FC. Behave yourself. Yeah, Nando's FC. Come on now, Babs. It's not like they haven't won a trophy for over 10 years and not a league title for over 50 years. Oh. You see, I like this connection we have going on here. Oh. As I have already said, we have a system in place. It's to press high end games and win the ball back. Only for a simple long goal kick to undo us. <coughs> <coughs> You get the point? Our spine includes players from Tottenham, Liverpool and Manchester City. Players that are used to playing that style of football. Which makes the job easier for Gareth Southgate. But then again, when your midfield has Jordan Henderson in the middle of it, sometimes you just need a bit of wizardry. Or Danny Orbeck won't take it into consideration. And then straight into the fucking shitter. Oi! Why are you still there? Gang business! Stomach business! You see, this is all my life's come to. <clears throat> and the fifth and final reason is the youth. Apparently our average squad age is minus 2,000 and apparently that helps. At least that's what Gary Level said. Looking back at it, probably not the best person to listen to. <clears throat> There's two things that I need to say. Firstly, you're a fucking wanker. Cheers mate. Secondly, the youth means we're gonna have no fear, less nerves and the unexpected. It's a good thing that Ann Johnson is in jail. I think this youth mixed in with their like, world-class footballers like Gary Cahill and Jordan Henderson alongside world-class ballers like Harry Kane and Danny Robert. We could do this! England could win the World Cup! Gareth Southgate is your manager. Never mind. So that's it guys, that is it. If you have enjoyed this video, smash like and subscribe to my channel if you are new. Again, massive thank you for 2,000 subscribers. It is a massive achievement myself. Love all of you guys. No homo. Also, don't forget to go down in the comments and comment up below hashtag Team 14 if you'd like a shout out. And also predictions for the World Cup. Who's going to win it? Definitely not England. I don't actually think we're going to win the World Cup. But we do have Danny Welbeck, so you never know. <laughs> but with that being said guys, my name is Bath 14 and England are going to win the World Cup. Wait, what? <laughs> It's what you make